Hello, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, the little red sign on the screen says live. When I look back at the recording, it never was live, actually, when it said it was. So, all right, let's assume we're live now. Welcome to Direct Mail, Monday, August 9th, 2021. I got to close a couple of things that just popped up. Here we go. Uh, you know, one of the main things we talk about here is getting your direct mail piece opened. It applies also to your emails or getting your phone calls answered, getting your social media posts read, getting your videos clicked on, anything. The first thing you got to do is get people to pay attention, no matter how golden the message is, unless people hear it, read it, watch it, can't do you any good. So here is an excellent example of a direct mail piece looking to get opened in an uh, interesting way. I received this in the mail and this is confidential. Contents are only for me. Although it says Stephen and uh, nobody can't remember the last time anyone called me Stephen. But okay, very official. And look, I'm pre-approved and I have a special code, special barcode. I mean, they're really doing this up to the nines, I would think. That I've, if I examined the 100,000 pieces they mailed out, this from Mutual of Omaha Life Insurance, that, uh, that every barcode was the same and every your pre approved code was the same. And simply they used variable printing to put my name there and, of course, to put my name and address there. But otherwise, it is very clearly a bulk mailer, prepaid, pre sort. However, I believe it's just for me, and it's confidential, and that I'm pre-approved. Where is it? There it is. I'm pre-approved. Oh, an electronic service is requested. Where's the pre-approved? Oh, and how about this one? Please open only if you are the addressee. So you see you can use any or all of this. There's a red stripes on there on the address label with the Please open only if you are the addressee and the contents are for me and they're confidential and I'm pre-approved and uh, it is electronic service requested, what always that means, whatever that means. And on the back, uh, they are attempting again to get my attention in case I got to look at it here. What does it say? Open immediately response requested within 10 days. So they're giving me some urgency there. Uh, so I'm supposed to think this is also confidential and important and personal and urgent. They're trying really hard to get me to open this piece that's going to attempt to sell me life insurance from Mutual of Omaha. As if, like, that's any surprise. And yet, if this works for them, how much better would it work for you when people don't know or you don't put the name of your company or address it's got to get the thing open. So let's oblige. They've got an easy opening thing here on the back. I don't even need a letter opener. It's got a couple of little glue here, but it's a, it's like a one-time weak glue that easily opens up. I pull out the pieces, and I've got a bunch of stuff that is soliciting life insurance from me. just want to see if it has any... Uh, personal information here, address, phone number, anything like that. Yeah, I got my address here, so I'm going to cross that out. Oh, as if you need to see it. I mean, it's simply a solicitation to buy life insurance. Not as important what's in it. I'm assuming you're paying someone to do a great job of writing your copy, your sales copy, and getting great stuff in here. I mean, you deserve to have direct mail pieces like this, by the way. People say, like, oh, direct mail doesn't work. Really? Then this is an awful lot of money that a big company is putting into a direct mail piece if it doesn't work, and they're mailing out hundreds of thousands, if not millions of these. Um, crap doesn't work. You do it right, it works. So this was kind of a bulky piece. I forgot to, to mention that while I was showing it. You can see all the stuff that's in here, this uh, two-page application form, some kind of letter. I got a cool uh, no-risk, like, looking like currents. <laughs> Not really, but attempting to look like currency. Like, oh, there's a no-risk something or other. Call us. 
customer service. If you have questions, call us. Undecided, read this. So they're hoping that before I throw it out, this is like when you bounce off a website and they go, wait, don't go. Please subscribe to our newsletter or something. Uh, now they've got, oh, they put my name even on this. There's my name on a little thing here about explaining what graded benefit whole life insurance is. They've got the prepaid number, uh, it's not even a number nine, it looks like, yeah, it is number nine, number nine size envelope. That's the size that fits right inside a number 10. So if you're mailing a return envelope, it's a size nine inside the size 10 envelope. And then I've got an invitation for Stephen Cypress, dear Stephen Cypress. And I am pre-approved for three million, five million, seven million, or ten million dollars worth of whole life insurance. Boom, front and back, and finally the application itself. So again, using the uh, variable printing, I have my name and address on there, and my name right there on the top. And I can select the three, five, seven, or ten, and they go in descending order because they want me to pick the first one. Hey, ten million looks great. By the time I get to the end, it says only three million. That looks crappy. I want the ten. Oh, and then again, uh, check a box. I want to apply for the ten, seven, five, or three. Multiple choices work better than saying fill in a blank. Give people multiple choices. Uh, different studies show different things about whether they choose the middle one. Depends on the audience, usually. Uh, which, so you, your audience may differ. You've got a test. Uh, I enclose a check or money order and a signature. And I just fill this thing out. And boom. And then I can... Oh, there's two of them because this is the one for me. And then I am to pass this... Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to pass this application along to your spouse, partner, or friend. However, contents were for me. And I was to open only if it was me, and it's confidential. Ah. So they're saying the quiet thing right out loud. Nothing confidential about it. This is a form, bulk, mailing, whatever. So there you go. Take the good, leave the bad. But there's the manative way to send direct mail so that you don't end up saying, but Steve, direct mail doesn't work. Yeah, if you do it right, like just about everything in life, if you do it right, it works. You do it wrong, doesn't. And a lot of times people rarely look in the mirror when something doesn't work. They like to blame somebody. So go ahead and blame me. If you mail out a crappy, poorly done direct mail piece and it doesn't work, go ahead and say, Steve, but you said direct mail works and it doesn't. However, do it right, and if you want help from me, go to helpfromsteve.com, get a link to my calendar, and I'll help you out to do it right, and then you won't have to say direct mail doesn't work. You'll be one of the smarter marketing business owners and entrepreneurs who says, holy crap, I just discovered like an age-old way of doing my marketing, and I thought the thing was dead because the internet came. Everyone's telling me the internet, the internet, the internet. Yeah. But direct mail still works when you do it right. So I hope you do. Oh, I just pulled a Joe Biden there, like kind of leaning in and whispering, like, it still works. Oh, wait, I got to squint and mumble, stumble and bumble. All right, enough. I don't have a Joe Biden impression. 20 years from now, 150 years from now, whenever my brain goes, I'll have an excellent Joe Biden impression. And that'll do it for today. Direct Mail, Monday, August 9th, 2021. Thanks for being here today. I'll be back here again tomorrow. On Topical Tuesday, I will catch you then. Over and out. Bye-bye.